everyone welcome back to my book list series and I just want to thank all you homeschooling moms who have contacted me and messaged me and I will continue to do these okay I want to pass on everything that I learned from homeschooling so many years and continuing to homeschool my son who is a freshman and this isn't just for homeschooling moms but also for like grandparents and parents who want to give their kids good books to read okay and to get them into loving reading and that's what I love books saved me as a child and um, I know most of my children love to read and I think we go through different phases in their lives when you know when we read and when we don't read and and they've gone through phases too so anyway on to this series I have right here books for four to sixth grade now this is a really tricky time because your kids are learning at different speeds how to read um, a fourth grade reader and a sixth grade reader is really a lot different but that's how they categorize them on Amazon and I'm gonna give you these books but these are more geared to I would say earlier rather than later and I'm gonna do another one for sixth and up okay but this one like I said unless you have a sixth grader who isn't a strong reader which is okay because I've had children that have not been strong readers and you know what you grow up and you're an adult and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter when you learn to read and I hate the pressure that school puts on kids to read early because not everybody is an early reader and um, I can't you know I know my kids that were early readers and the ones that weren't and you cannot tell the difference as an adult okay so it's stupid if you ask me it's one of the problems I have with school but I don't have a I don't have lots of problems but that's definitely one of them okay my hair is driving me crazy all right one Book one, Magic Treehouse Thanksgiving on Thursday, Mary Pope Osborne. This woman has sold more than 134 million books. I'm going to give you a second to digest that. 134 million books. And if you are homeschooling and you do not use the Magic Treehouse series, start today. Go to, go to Barnes & Noble. And, or go on Amazon and buy them, but start today. You need to use these books. They are incredible, okay? And kids love them, and it teaches them how to read. So um, anyway, so she has a Thanksgiving one. Use that one. Number two right here, the first Thanksgiving. It's a step three, um, step into reading book three, written by Linda Hayward. I didn't find out that much information on her, but it doesn't matter. Those step books are amazing. Get them, use them, read them over and over again <laughs> until they memorize them. And guess what? Memorizing is not a bad thing. Keep them reading. Even if they are memorizing them, keep reading it to them and then let them read it to you. Book number three, Try Not to Laugh Thanksgiving Jokes. I like this one. This one's brand new by C.S. Cole. And I picked this because I, especially with boys, you can really get them to read by giving them a joke book. I used to find joke books and um, all kinds of different like facts books. Uh, boys this age really like to read those kind of books as opposed to like a chapter book. Uh, which girls seem to tend to want to read more chapter books. So get books like this, okay, for your boys. They will love it. I'm not saying girls aren't going to love this book because they will too, but boys will like it more. Boys love joke books. Book number four. This is another series you need to have. Junie B. Jones, okay. Number 28, Turkeys We Have Loved and Eaten by Barbara Park. This woman has written so many Junie B. Jones and yes, probably more for girls. Okay. Um, yeah, I would say for girls mostly. Um, but girls love Junie B. Jones never goes out of style. I mean, you, you can read them over and over and over again. This is the perfect age for them unless you have a really, really strong reader, uh, especially by grade six, uh, probably not so much. This is more for, I would say more fourth grade. Um, and even third grade, if you have a really strong third grade reader, these are good ones. And last 
I found this book. I was only going to do four. And then I found this book and I was like, you know what? This is really cool. It's called Not This Turkey. It's by Jessica Steinberg. It was written in 2016. And it's kind of cool. It's um, the story of an immigrant family and Thanksgiving. She lives in Israel. She's written a lot of books. but um, And she's also, I think she's a news correspondent or, you know, somewhat something over there but she also writes children's books and this one's cute and I liked it and I was thinking yeah no four fourth grade fifth grade maybe not sixth grade but uh, like I said if you have a strong sixth grade reader my next video is going to be more for you because it's going to be more older books and chapter books and learning <laughs> and they're and, and but good books that they won't mind that they're learning so thank you for the support everyone I love talking reading and I love talking reading and children I'm going to keep doing lists for children for adults I love it I love putting things in categories and I'm even thinking about doing some kind of um pdf file for homeschoolers that kind of putting these all in one place and um, and then that people can download and use for their homeschooling and kind of work these books in. So I am working on that, but um, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please hit like if you enjoyed this video. You can DM me, you can find me Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, any questions you have, I'd be happy to answer you. And uh, thanks everyone, have a great day.